no, you're not doing this today. He's like, and I'm like, yes, I am. I'm doing this today. I don't want to let you guys down. Kind of did it already for being 25 minutes late. All right. <clears throat> Which means that's, I'm not going to get very much time to stream it. As much time to stream today. <laughs> So uh, bear with me, beginning of the stream, I'm going to be a little tired. <laughs> Alright, not sure how much there is to collect in this. So what I think I will be will do is I think I'll actually finish Hannet's chapter four lap. Since that was my main character I started with. So Hannet will be lap. Alright, I've already got health in the chapter four. Speaking of Alfin, we need a, we need to grind some levels for him. Badly. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Uh, but I think we're gonna go with Cyrus. Yeah, we'll go with Cyrus. Oh boy. Oh, uh, oh. Yeah, we'll go ahead and finish up Cyrus because he's gonna, gonna gonna be the most awkward because I have to I'll have to uh, switch. Who has him? I'm gonna switch uh, Ophelia and him because I don't want like a, a group. I don't want I don't want a group of casters, and I don't want to get a dress and get rid of Tressa. One, she's the best girl, obviously. Two, she gets me a lot of money, which at this point I kind of don't kind of don't need. <clears throat> Three. Uh, what is number? Yeah, whatever. Travel banter. Oh. Oh no. What's the matter, Tressa? Someone told me a ghost story, but I can't stand ghosts. They're so scary. I suppose the notion of spirits can be somewhat terrifying. And you know what else is terrifying? Thunder and deaths and deaths. That's a strange one. <laughs> strange? Then what are you afraid of? Now there's a question I'm most interested in, know in knowing. What? Knowing? What can what can will what what can will the unbending blade? Oh, okay. Well, I am a poor swimmer, so that is more a weakness than a fear. Well, that's a surprise coming from a man a man of action like yourself. I swam a little as a child, but then forgot the skill as I grew into a man. Too much muscle, I warrant. You probably seem like a stone. <laughs> no, no, that's not how it works. Mayhap. What of you, Cyrus? Do you have any un weaknesses? I have a sneaky suspicion that it may be singing. A suspicion? Well, whenever I give, well, I give voice to a song, people look at me with a curious expression. Also, they say things like, Good thing you're a scholar, sir, and not a bard. <laughs> well, now I'm curious. Why don't you sing something for us? Perhaps one song, then. I do enjoy a good ballad, after all. <clears throat> well, what do you think, Dresda? Is... Something the, something the matter. Best leave her be. I believe she is in the midst of ruin, ruin, ruining her curiosity. <laughs> oh no. Alright.
Alrighty then. Cyrus. What is your ASP yet? Okay, uh. Yeah, you need all that stuff. Um, okay, so you already have merchant. Merchant for SP. Uh, I suppose we can try and go for Dancer for the uh, SP regen. Yeah, okay. I need to fill you back for a little bit. Okay, basically, he's got to be, he has to become my healer. Okay, so, SP saver. Okay, yep. That's right. I was right on the dot. Okay, do, 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 do. Change party. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so now you just need... To work on dancer a little bit. Ah, damn. One short. One thousand short. But I know just the place to go fix that up. Okay, so we'll leave it at that. That's cobblestone. We're still stone. All right. Here, all right here. So we're gonna grind him a little bit, just so he can, just to the point where he can. Uh... <sighs> you be sorry. Wow. Um, ne ne never mind. Oh, I changed the wrong one. I think. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Uh... Great, now I gotta get that looked at. Great! This out for what? What against boss fight? <laughs> hmm. Well, not inner strength because we got the SP saver and the SP regen. Um, probably elemental augmentation. Okay, we'll just. Awesome chat. Alright, where's Cyrus at? Alright, here. Okay. And Cyrus just became my sight here, though. <laughs> G. 
Chapter 3? Yep. Done. Done deal. As the story so far, in Query Chris, Cyrus used to use his powers of and deduction to get to the bottom of a series of kidnappings. Perpetrated by depraved scholar Gideon, who, ha who was harvesting the villagers' blood for his dark research. It was in Gideon's sickening lab laboratory that Cyrus discovered it. I translate a copy of from, of from the Far Reaches of Hell. Although the history of the dark arts intrigued him, he could not sit idly by while his peers used knowledge for evil. And so Cyrus came to struggle, where the tome, tome was bound. And tome was bound. Would he, know, would he find answers here, or only more dreadful questions? Probably more dreadful questions. Mm-hmm. Don't guard at last. <clears throat> in the sprawling city of If Ever I Saw One, talk about searching for a needle in a haystack. Now then. First, I should I should review where we stand. <laughs> mm, like as not, the translated copy of Far from the Reach, mm, uh, from the Far Reaches of Hell, was produced by a bookmaker in this town. Mm. But where to begin my search? Logically speaking, it would make the most sense to begin at the source. Which means head straight forward. The, the binary, of course. Where else? <clears throat> I guess so. Very well. Let the investigation begin. Hey, Hunter, you're not the... How you doing, buddy? Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, you didn't forget... So, uh, actually, uh, you're not the only one who's late to the party. Yeah. Uh, I overslept a little bit. And I ended up getting 20, 25 minutes late of getting into the stream. All right. Let the investigation begin. <laughs> Oh, buddy. Here's our here's a new friend. Travel Manter. Boom. Take care. You know, I feel I feel it now too. But the unmistakable sense of being watched. For my part, the feeling was mm, a faint at first and came and went, but it grows stronger with every step we take. Undoubtedly, your instincts are sharper than sharper than mine. How did you acquire them, I wonder? I cannot say. It is something I learned on the battlefield. By what means, I do not rightly know. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Oh, for, oh yeah, chat. I, ooh, I, I completely forgot to do this after chest, chest quest. Yeah, we finished chest quest. All right. Oh, I was hoping there was some easy trick to it. It is easy enough, if you're willing to fight as many battles as I have. I think easy here means something different. It's something different to you and me. Fair enough. Even a scholar such as yourself cannot know everything there is to know of this world. Oh, probably saved, actually. Where's the save at? Right here. What is everybody's jobs anyway? Oh, I mean, uh, sk those four skills. Okay. Okay, everybody has the Vivim Vigor and SP Saber. And all right, the only person who does not have a uh, second win would be Tressa because she really she rarely ever runs out of it, out out of SP.
She rarely ever runs out of SP. So here we go. Indeed. Let's see now. Um, a testimony. I sold a book of my of my making to Dominic, a translator. His home lies on the east side of town. Most intriguing. Mm -hmm. Well, well now, it would seem I owe this Dominic fellow a visit. Oh, I should be able to find his workshop here. Okay, let's go. Oh, this is also the place with that forbidden blade, which I will not be getting, by the way, chat. Excuse me. Beg your pardon, is this the residence of... My apologies. I don't think you... I don't think you know... I don't think I know... I don't know who you are, but I don't... I am not in the mood for company. A moment of your if time. If you could just spare a moment, kind sir, there's something I'd like to ask you. Be gone with you. Said I wish to see no one. Leave me at once. Hmm. He seems like a stubborn one. I'll have to find another way. Pray forgive the intrusion. A good day to you, sir. It might behoove me to find out a bit more about friend Dominic. I guess we get time to go to the local tavern. Or not. Uh, our party master, I suppose. I see. He, he refuses to talk into the... Quite. I need a different approach. You are looking most solemn. Is anything troubling you? <clears throat> I was thinking, wherefore would someone so mighty turn his back on others? The suffering in his voice was that of a man who hath been made to forsake everything. He was suggesting there is a reason for this behavior. Perhaps, I know not. But, when I think about the life that he hath had, hath led, Yes, quite. Something tragic may have been all, be all, be all in him. Be all in him. <laughs> Befallen him. I need to find out more. And perhaps I can even find a way to help him. Ah, good plan. Let us act in upon it. <clears throat> Here in a little bit. I'm probably going to go refill my normal water. <laughs> And uh, Dominic went, went and shut himself off from the world after his only daughter suffered a sickness 15 years ago. Oh. Most intriguing. Most Told some medicine to Dominic, but fit, mm, about 15 years ago, I think. Was in a spot of bother, as I recall, financially speaking, so I gave him a discount. Dominic's trouble. Meaning one. What do you got? Let's see now. Dominic had a translation commission. He a translation commission. He thought he would learn him learn him a fortune. Still lose the day he said yes to it. Poor lad. Back to the stupid fortune thing. I talked about this in judgment. If anything I hate, it's literally fortune. Fortune. Very well. All right, yeah. Excuse me. Oh, beg your pardon, Master Dominic. I am Cyrus, the scholar who called upon you earlier. Oh. You again? I already told you. I did not want to. I do not want to see you.
his daughter. Uh, what task did Dominant take on to pay his death? Translating book. But of course! There we go. I do not mean to open up, open up old wounds, friend. But I've heard that you lost your dear daughter to illness some 15 years ago. Thus Good thing nobody's around to hear this case. <laughs> he accidentally dies. <laughs> Since then, you have secluded yourself and cut off all contact from the, with the outside world. In order to procure the elixirs that might save your daughter, you needed coin, quickly, and in large quantities. And so, you accept an unusual task. Yes. To wit, producing a translation of Far From the Reaches of Hell. <sighs> Who told you this? Now then. The book that you translated is now in my possession. Clearly, you are a scholar of great knowledge and wisdom. You took care to omit the most horrific passages, doubtless because you recognize the dangers they pose. As an academic, I will not stand idly by as knowledge is used for the purpose of evil. And so I ask you, who commissioned this translation from you? Come inside. That did the trick, chat. Many thanks. Uh, thank you, friend. Listen. Ah, but where should I even begin? In truth. Fifteen years ago, a man came here to me with a request he said was of dire importance. Strangely, I cannot recall his name. He was a scholar, and from his words, one could tell his mind was as sharp as a blade. But what I remember more than anything were his eyes, which burned blood red with a zeal for knowledge that bordered on, on obsession. What's in the... Red eyes? Could it be? No, perish the thought. After that, they say in recent years he accepted a prestigious position at the Royal Academy in Atlas Dam. Oh boy! It couldn't be. Good God's headmaster, Ivan. Yes. Oh yes. yes. It's all coming back to me now. Ivan was his name. Oh. <laughs> In truth, he came to me a, mi a mighty and venerable tome in hand. That tome was from the far, from the far reaches of hell. I did not have to think twice. Is that so? Knowing full well the danger was posed by the forbidden knowledge within. Yes. Yes, I was not blind to the risk. And yet, what choice did I have? The medicines my daughter required cause a veritable fortune, and I am but a humble scholar. So you followed Yvonne's instructions to the letter? Mostly. Yes. Yes, I translated that dreadful tone. Ugh. All the while of fearing for my life, what horrors might come across come to pass if it, if the knowledge fell into the wrong hands. It already fell into the wrong it fell into the wrong hands as soon as it got here. In the end, even the rarest of elixirs could not save my poor girl. Looking back, I believe this was divine punishment for my sin. And Master Ivan, whatever was the man thinking? You say the book is in your possession. I beg you, promise me. Leave it to me. I will see that it is never again used to bring pain and suffering. You have my word. The pain and guilt you bear is surely beyond my understanding. But I hope this will bring you even a small measure of solace. <clears throat> Rest your heart easy, friend, as best as, as best you can. You have my thanks. Cyrus, was it? You have my thanks. 
Wow. Come now. Well, are you going to keep hiding in the shadows or shall we end this end this charade? Huh. So you were wise to my presence. Just so. I knew I was being followed, yes. Son of a biscuit. Fancy meeting you outside the academy. You are the headmaster's assistant, miss. Call me Lucia. Lucia. Greetings. A pleasure. And why have you followed me here, Miss Lucia? <clears throat> I apologize. Forgive me, Professor Albright. I mean no offense. I overheard that you were investigating the whereabouts of a certain tome. Yep. A tome by the name of Far from, from the Far Reaches of Hell. Is this correct? Say no. Say no. Mm -hmm. And what if it is? A good enough answer. In truth. What I'm about to say, I ask that you keep in the utmost confidence. I have reason to believe Headmaster Yvonne is plotting something unsavory involving the self, self same tome. Why? So the thief I'll who be... stole the book from the archive was. Yes. The Headmaster himself. Of this, I am all but certain. The Headmaster's assistant, I may be, but <clears throat> first and foremost, I am a scholar in my own right. I will not stand to see my profession's good name solely by one who would use knowledge in the name of evil. This is why. Indeed. You came here seeking my aid. Correct. Yes, my intuition as an academic tells me you are a man to be trusted. I don't entirely trust you. As you may be aware, Headmaster Yvonne hails from Stoneguard himself. Yes. Yes, I was planning to investigate that very matter that very matter after I was done here. Hmm. The house in which he was born still stands. Yet there are ominous rumors about that place. I have a a certain ascertained its location, but I am hesitant to investigate further on my own. And so I ask, Professor Albright, <clears throat> pray lend me your aid. I see. I see. Before I promise anything, I will see the house with my own eyes. Correct. I understand completely. You will find it on the north side of town. Oh, this ought to be a good chat. This ought to be really good. Shall we begin? Really, really good. Okay, very well. Let us pay it a visit straight away. Oh, boy. All right, one second, chat. Sorry, I had to stretch the dirt a little bit. <sighs> yep, I'm definitely switching over to my normal water. I love the bubbly. I love it. Too much carbonation this early in the morning. <sighs> As for whether or not I can co uh, cooperate, I will give you my answer there. There. Is this acceptable? Thank you. But of course, thank you, Professor. I will go on and ahead and meet you there. <clears throat> Pardon me. Can I ask you a question, Professor? By all means. What kind of things did you teach back at the, back at the palace? I'm interested in a, a spot of learning, are we? Then pull up a log and I'll give you a lesson. Huh? 
history. Let's begin there, specifically with the founding of the mighty kingdom of Hornburg. Wait, wait, I never said and there followed it also. In short, he's been talking for an hour now. I'm not sure whether to be annoyed or impressed. But the king at at heart at ab ad bart at edbart king edbart if you call had his own worries you see professor can i say something what is it Tressa? you really need to get back on the road 